If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see about my brand new tool called Kale. So what is Kale? Kale means ask in Tamil. You can basically ask anything from your CLI and get your answers fast, powered by LLMs. So basically it is an AI in your CLI. So why you should use Kale? So Kale helps you to automate the repetitive tasks so that you don't need to Google or no need to open browser for every time from your CLI. And it supports multiple LLMs. Right now it supports OpenAI, Anthropic, Ulama, and also Google, a new uh, LLM called Gemini. And also you can chat with your artifacts. So this is the power of Kale. So basically you can upload any file and then you can chat with it. This will be very helpful for performance engineers like us. So that is why I created, I transformed my existing project called Perf GPT and I embedded into Kale. So that you can chat, you can ask questions, so that you can slice and dice your data. All you need is your own API key. So Kale doesn't have any subscription or no need to purchase anything. You just install and integrate your keys, whether it is uh, from Google, Anthropic, or OpenAI. And it's absolutely free and open source. And you can also check the code in GitHub and you can see what's going on for every request you send. And if you go to the docs here, you can see the configuration for each LLMs. So in this case, it is uh, OpenAI, we have Anthropic, Olama, and Google also I'll be adding pretty soon, and also uh, the Kale CLI, and uh, you can see the known issues and limitations. And here there is a quick demo. You can just check it out how you can leverage a Kale uh, for some basic commands. So now let us see how you can install Kale and how you can get started. So Kale CLI is also available in pypy.org. So if you go to pypy.org and search for Kale uh, hyphen CLI or just Kale, you can see the instructions, demo and features and other prerequisites and steps to get started. So you have to just use these few commands to get started with Kale and make sure you have some API key or Olama installed so that uh, you can leverage the power of LLMs. So without that, basically you cannot do anything from Kale. So now let us uh, go to the uh, terminal here and let us uh, issue these uh, three commands. So this will install the uh, user uh, pipex and uh, it will install the ensure path and it will install the Kale CLI. So once it is installed, you can uh, make use of the uh, default uh, uh, config.yaml. So here if you see this particular config.yaml, you will see all the configurations with respect to Kale. So right now, uh, my configuration is it is in config.yaml uh, within the .kale folder. And if you just uh, carry it out, you can see the supported companies and uh, general, style, stats, and open AI. And if you just keep scrolling, there are humpteen of uh, configurations for each LLMs. So you have to just explore and you configure or you can use the default configuration. So to begin with, let us use a hyphen V command. So kale hyphen V will give you the version. So right now, as of today, the version is 0.0.12. And if you just enter kale hyphen H, you can see the help command. So basically you can see there are a lot of arguments you will pass. And uh, basically the important argument is question. So what question you want to ask to your LLMs? And of course, there are other options like hyphen H, hyphen S, P, uh, M, temperature, max tokens, company, etc. So you can just explore it. Now let us start with the kale hyphen S open AI. So this will give you the configuration of particular LLM. So in this case, open AI. And by default, it is using GPT-3 or 5 Turbo and endpoint, URI, tokens, prompts. So everything you can see it in here. So by default, it works well for your software related questions. If you ask something like say population or some other uh, different domain, it might not be able to answer, but there is a way I will just show you in a moment. So to just to know about say, for example, uh, KL and yes, uh, say Google. So this will uh, give you the uh, KL config for uh, Google LLM, which is uh, Gemini Pro. And Next command I want to introduce is uh, say Kale, uh, just say hello. So if you just say hello, 
So it will use default OpenAI model and it will uh, just uh, get the response. After it got the response, it will just print the, you know, the response time. So in this case, it is 1.94 seconds and uh, total tokens and the cost of this particular request and uh, the response also will be copied uh, to your uh, clipboard. So this is the default behavior. In case if you want to change, you can just uh, go to config.toml and you can just uh, flip the flags to false. Okay, now next let us try, you know, something technical. Say, kale uh, uh, git command to, you know, rebase. So this will again, it will leverage GPT 3.5 and then it will uh, give the uh, response. And if you just paste it, you can see the response from the open AI. Okay, now I don't want to use, you know, GPT 3.5. I want to use GPT 4. Yes, of course, you can use it. So right now, okay, let us try to say regex for email. But I want to use, you know, a model a GPT-4. So if you just type hyphen M for model and GPT-4, the valid OpenAI model, and if you hit enter, it will uh, get the regex for email using the GPT-4. Okay, now let us uh, change the LLMs. So now it will use the, you know, Anthropics model, Cloud 2.1, then it will give you the data. And now let us try, you know, Google Gemini Pro model. So let us ask what is the population of India in 1947. And hyphen C, Google, and hyphen M, uh, model slash Gemini hyphen Pro. So now if you see the response, it will uh, not give you the straight answer, but you can now uh, change the prompt. So to change the prompt, again, you have to use the flag iPhone P, so you are a historian. So now you got the answer for the question. So basically, if you want to change something, the role of the LLM, so you can use the hyphen P prompt to change the default prompts. Or you can go to config.toml and then you can change the default prompt. So this is not just for software engineers. Anybody can use it. And uh, whether you are a tester, SRE, DevOps, developer, performance engineer, it doesn't matter. It will work for even, you know, data scientist or a product manager. For anybody, they want to use Scale, definitely they can use it by changing the default prompts in the config.toml. And uh, make sure you have the OpenAI key or Anthropic or Google key uh, in your environment variables. For example, here, if you see Anthropic uh, API key, Echo, or uh, it will, uh, it is printing my API key. So make sure you configure this, otherwise it will not be able to reach the API. So in next video, I will show you how you can chat with the documents by uploading a file and then you can ask questions. Uh, this will be very helpful for data scientists, uh, performance engineers, and those who want to get answers from the documents. So see you in the next video and please definitely try Kale. And if you have any issues, uh, please log an issue in the GitHub uh, tracker. Thank you. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, Please subscribe to QA Insight channel.